I'm using a product called Aerobrite, which is a fluorescent leak detection dye that you add to your oil in order to trace down some oil leaks. It takes an UV light in order to make it fluoresce properly. Um, that's not a black light, an actual ultraviolet light. Also, I found a little disappointingly that the bright orange that shows up when you shine a UV light on it doesn't show up very well in the video. So keep that in mind. Okay, what I have is an ultraviolet light. It's not a black light. It's an actual ultraviolet light. And I'm looking for oil leaks. In fact, um, this ultraviolet light could damage your eyes if you look directly into it. So be careful if you use one of these. Now, you don't see any oil leaks. So let me show you what I'm looking for. I put a special fluorescent dye in the oil. See that orange? That's what an oil leak would look like. It'd be obvious. So this is one way to help find oil leaks. So what I'm going to do is go on a flight, come back and check one more time. Um, I did have an oil leak right here. Under this screw, it's very, very difficult to find because it leaked out behind this clamp, ran down the back of this wire, spark plug ignition wire, to where I didn't notice it. And then it would drip. And then the, the air would catch it and it'd blow backwards. And I just could never find where it was coming from. I ended up removing this. Uh, this had a silicone gasket. I've tried two of them there and they both leaked. So I ended up putting a cork gasket in, the original style from Lycoming, and it worked fine. But as you can see, there are no, you don't see any of that orange glow, so there is no leak. Check on this side. And it looks good. Let's go flying. This is what the oil looks like under normal light. There you can see. Looks like regular oil. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. A little bit of orange under that screw and around that bracket, so it's leaking there. And it's down inside the cowling. If that shows up as orange as well on this camera, we'll see, but it's bright orange. Bright orange to me. So I've got another leak here, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this other gasket and put in a cork gasket. Okay, there's a little oil down in there, here and here. And that could be just stuff that was left in that seam of the vent. So what we're going to do, there's also some up here. You can see it. Some up there. Right there. Um, and that could be just stuff that was already leaking. Now we'll turn off the lights and look at it under the UV light and see if it glows. If that doesn't glow, that's old oil that's just dripping from somewhere else. It was dripping from right here, so let's do that. Okay, now we're back under UV light, obviously, and none of that oil that I pointed out earlier is glowing. So that's just all that's dripping from previous spill that I hadn't been able to clean up. And now my valve cover looks pretty good. There's a little tiny wet spot on there that you can just see a little bit of orange. 
And I believe that's from the washers. The washers had um, a little bit of oil left on them. I wasn't able to get them fully clean. But that looks really good. There's no drips. There's nothing on the uh, nothing on the spark plug wire. So that new cork gasket did the trick. <laughs>